it's that time again guys it is time for my empties my quantity driven makeup rehab goal this year is to try and finish up 300 products i'm not bothered about the value like i have been in previous years i just want the quantity to move at the end of june when we last did my empties i used up 136 products so far in the year so in this bag are my july and august empties first impressions are that it's overall not looking like quite as much as i kind of thought it was i did definitely feel like i was using up a fair amount of stuff um over the last couple of months but what I'm going to do is do it the same way I did the last one, sort it into different categories, show you the figures and just if I've got anything to say about any particular hero products or any complete villain products that were terrible, I will let you know about those standout products either way and otherwise it's just going to be about the figures and the goal. Start off nice and easy with perfume. I used up one perfume, it was this little sample. It was worth five dollars. It really wasn't my cup of tea but if you like a green scent this might be worth checking out for you. I used up three makeup products. The Colourpop lip gloss, you've all seen me use that up in my project pan, that was worth eight dollars. The Lorac mini eye primer, that was worth eight dollars and twenty five cents and a little sample of the MAC setting spray which was worth one dollar. So in total, three products worth $17.25. On to hair, I used up seven products. First of all, two sachets worth a dollar each. And I just wanted to draw attention to this one from Way, the Detox Shampoo. If you like a really sort of squeaky clean feeling with your hair, this really delivers it. I would definitely be interested in a full size of this at some point. It wouldn't be a shampoo I would use every single time I cleaned my hair, but I feel like... I used it after I'd been using like a lot of mousse and things and I really felt like it got my hair back to being really light and clean and I really really enjoyed that. I am fairly loyal to this hair dye. I've talked about it before, won't say too much but definitely still loyal to it although I am trying not to dye my hair now until October before my friend's wedding so I did, I dyed my hair right before my birthday in July so I've now got mega roots and it's, it's quite painful to see the promise of a box of hair dyeing but like nope we're stepping away so yeah but that is the one I use when I'm dyeing my hair and then the last product that I will just draw some attention to is the Davines texture spray absolutely love this it smells absolutely divine which helps as well it's not quite as full kind of gritty texture spray as some others so I've got like the IGK dirty spray which I would say is like a step up from this this isn't the highest of texture sprays that there is out there it's a kind of medium one but it doesn't feel gritty in the hair it doesn't leave your hair feeling as though it kind of needs washed or anything afterwards so I feel like for me I would definitely repurchase this and then I would own the IGK one as well because they give quite different levels of texture but for lesser texture but still a bit of texture if that makes any sense like it's doing something it's just not quite as full-on as the dirty spray I would definitely definitely repurchase this one all in all those are seven hair care empties worth $80 and 12 cents as usual skincare is coming in at the end and doing the most I used up 31 items of skincare they were worth $327.77 in terms of standout products Garnier SPF spray you can use that over makeup really really good for topping up your SPF obviously during the day, super lightweight, doesn't disturb makeup underneath it, big big fan of that. This cleanser I really really like, the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser, please excuse my nails are getting done this week. I felt that definitely made my skin less congested, I noticed when I stopped using that that my skin got quite congested again. Um, but then on the flip side of that, towards the end of August, I started using this from Ren. It's their AHA tonic. And again, that really, really helped with the congestion. I used, I finished up one of my Kiehl's iris essences. I actually repurchased that. I don't think there's anything else of particular note here. I don't think, oh, in fact, I'm telling the lie. Um, I've talked about this before, but the uh, foot peels from the brand OK. Um, really really good, really really effective, used that just before my birthday and always a very satisfying thing to, to peel off all your hard skin, highly recommend uh, them. I love this Boots Ingredients mask but they don't make it anymore so there's no point in going on about it. These, the Patchology Merry and Bright, they were from Christmas last year so there were six in the box of this so this one box gave me a quantity of six just in case anyone's looking at it going 
how do you get 31 here? Um, this alone is, is actually a quantity of six. I was sort of expecting these to be like sheet mask texture, but they were actually like a sort of gel texture and I, I really didn't like them. So yeah, I wouldn't get them again, but yeah, otherwise no real problem products. So 31 items. So my total products used value-wise, $17.25 worth of makeup, $327.77 worth of skincare, $80.12 worth of hair care and $5 worth of perfume, giving me a total of $430.14. Now it was my birthday in July so I did have quite a few additions in July, you can see there that my total additions actually adds up to $872.64 so I actually brought in considerably more than I used up in July and August which is not not the direction we're trying to go in for the most part. Looking at my yearly running totals so far I have used up a total of $2,930.68 worth of product and I have added in a total of $2,453.30 worth of product so still used more than I've added but not quite as much of a disparity between those numbers as I would like there to be. Um, and decluttering, I have decluttered $899.94 worth of product. I'm not counting too much on the decluttering. I obviously, using things up is my preferred way to get things out of my collection, but decluttering is important. It obviously creates the space to actually concentrate and use up the products that you want to use up. But those are the, the values. So this year I am more focused on the quantity. And in terms of the quantities, I used up 42 products. So three makeup products, 31 skincare items, seven hair care items, and one perfume. And that brings my total use to 177 items. And this is actually where it gets a bit more hopeful because if you look at it, although the values are quite close, I've added in 100 items. So there's a much bigger gap between what I've used and what I've added when you look at the quantities and I've also decluttered 56 items so my quantity reduction is definitely heading very much in the right way and that's that's what I want I'd rather have considerably less products even if they're all luxury products or more expensive products that I will really love and cherish versus having loads and loads of products although obviously the values are still so high that there's there's still lots of work to be done but for me to get my 300 items by the end of the year, I now need to try and use up another 123 items from September through to December. So that is the plan. Let's keep our fingers crossed, see if we can do it. I definitely thought I'd used up more in the last couple of months, but it is what it is. Hopefully, you know, I'll get a big kind of jump next month to make up for it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.